More than any other place in the world, Asia Pacific has experienced unprecedented change. Home to seven of the world's ten fastest growing economies, it is leading the global economic recovery. In years to come, it will continue its dramatic transformation and can become the engine for inclusive growth and sustainable development. ASCAP promotes regional cooperation among member states to achieve inclusive and sustainable development, shaping the future we want. Our Commission provides the platform for countries to work together, to advance together by building common understanding, sharing knowledge and experiences, maximizing opportunities, and providing leadership and solutions to the critical, regional, and global challenges of the 21st century. Asia Pacific has experienced phenomenal economic growth in the last few decades. However, not everyone has benefited from these gains. In fact, the UN estimates that 1.2 billion people in the world still live on less than one US dollar per day, many of them in the Asia Pacific region. Here at the Macroeconomic Policy and Development Division, we provide high-quality analysis on current regional economic challenges, primarily through our flagship report, the Annual Economic and Social Survey of Asia and the Pacific. We have also designed a regional roadmap to help the 12 least developed countries located in Asia Pacific in their efforts towards graduation from LDC status. The Trade and Investment Division of ASCAP works with countries to unlock their immense economic potential by promoting intra-regional trade and assisting governments in diversifying their economies and reducing their over-dependence on traditional trade partners. Currently, the division is working on a regional agreement on paperless trade for cross-border electronic exchange of data and documents. By connecting Asia through electronic trade and removing non-tariff barriers, the region can save up to 300 billion US dollars per year in hidden cost of red tape. Money that can be invested back into the economy, in people and infrastructure. One of the keys to Asia-Pacific's continued economic growth is regional connectivity, which requires efficient, safe, and sustainable transport networks. In the Transport Division of ASCAP, we are working with member countries to create an international, integrated, intermodal transport and logistics system for the region. We are now developing an intergovernmental agreement on dry port as an additional important element of the transportation network. The development of dry port will create new opportunities for businesses and jobs, help people gain access to better trade and social opportunities, and bring the benefits of the region's economic growth to all. We believe that economic growth and social progress must go hand in hand. ESCAP's Social Development Division works closely with governments to address inequalities and promote social inclusion and protection. We focus particularly on the needs and rights of women, youth, persons with disabilities, older persons and people living with HIV. For example, in February this year, 
We convened a major meeting among governments to review national laws that impede access to HIV prevention, treatment, care and support. Our governments agreed to a historic roadmap for action that will guarantee greater regional cooperation and lead to an improvement in the lives of people living with HIV, including providing them with life-saving treatment. To sustain the economic growth necessary to reduce poverty, we have to drastically improve the efficiency of using natural resources. The Environment and the Development Division of ESCA has developed a low-carbon green growth roadmap for Asia Pacific to provide the policymakers in the region with a comprehensive list of policy options and the practical strategies to shift to a green, inclusive and prosperous growth path. For example, global greenhouse gas emissions could be reduced by almost 8% by 2020 if Asia Pacific countries adopted an environmental tax reform of 10 US dollars per ton of CO2 while reducing corporate tax, thus maintaining revenue neutrality without increasing total tax burden. In fact, some countries could even see an increase of up to 2.8% in GDP. Asia-Pacific is the most disaster-prone region in the world. In 2011, 45% of the world's natural disasters happened here, and 85% of the people affected by those disasters live here. The Information and Communications Technology and Disaster Risk Reduction Division of ESCAP promotes access to information, regional cooperation, ICT development, capacity building and disaster resilience to help communities better prepare for disasters as well as respond and recover more quickly when disaster strikes. In 2011, during the worst flooding in Thailand in decades, we were able to help authorities access near real-time satellite imagery so they could capture flood developments for relief and rehabilitation efforts and also to monitor social and economic damage. Timely and reliable statistics are at the heart of good policy making. Guided by the Committee on Statistics, the Statistic Division of ASCAP works actively with countries and development partners to advance official statistics for development. Through strong regional cooperation, we are making important progress towards the goal that, by 2020, all countries in the region shall have the capability to provide an agreed basic range of population, economic, social and environmental statistics. To close development gaps, to save lives and uphold rights, we must strive together to count everyone and count everyone right, so that no one is left uncovered by official statistics and excluded from national policies, so that everyone in each and every community throughout the region will count equally in the future prosperity of Asia and the Pacific. SCAP is a networked organization headquartered in Bangkok with numerous sub-regional offices and institutes, ensuring that there is a development link between the global, regional, and country level. In the last year, our sub-regional offices have been active on a broad range of issues, from ensuring that economic growth leads to poverty reduction in South Asia, to preparing Pacific Island nations with the Rio Plus 20 sustainable development discussions, to implementing initiatives that support Central Asian countries in addressing cross-border challenges, to connecting landlocked countries like Mongolia to more prosperous nations in Northeast Asia. We all want a resilient Asia-Pacific, rooted in shared prosperity, social equity and sustainability, empowered by the creativity of our people, valuing the gifts of the earth. If we get it right in Asia Pacific, we get it right for two-thirds of humanity. Asia Pacific, 
the future is in our hands.